In this video, we'll talk about spontaneous breathing and how the breathing mechanics we just studied in the previous videos explain our spontaneous breathing. So when we want to breathe in, we move our diaphragm downward and the chest wall upward and anteriorly. That will increase the intrathoracic cavity size that will lead to a decrease in the intrathoracic pressure. Intrathoracic pressure in the, inside the whole thoracic cavity. When the, there is decrease in the intrathoracic pressure, simply the intrapleural pressure will drop. Intrapleural pressure follow the intrathoracic pressure. When the intrapleural pressure drop, guess what happens to the transpulmonary pressure? it will lead to increase in the transpulmonary pressure. And as we say, transpulmonary pressure is equal to alveolar pressure minus intrapleural pressure. When the transpulmonary pressure we said increase, what does that lead to the lung size at the alveolar level or alveolar size? This will lead to increase in the alveolar size or inflation in the alveolar size. See, there is no air movement yet. Let's go back to Boyle's law. The alveolar size has a constant amount of gas. There is no air flow at this moment. We're still talking about that we're trying to breathe in. No air flow yet. There is constant amount of gas, constant temperature, and now the alveolar size has increased because the increase in transpulmonary pressure. What's going to happen to the alveolar pressure in such case? Based on Boyle's law, alveolar pressure will drop. When the alveolar pressure will drop, now we're creating a pressure gradient the alveolar pressure will become less than the pressure at the mouth, which, which is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Now there is a pressure gradient created between mouth and alveoli, and simply as we explained in the first video, the air now will start flowing from our mouth down to our alveoli. So simply we made the pressure at the alveoli lower than the pressure at the mouth. And to breathe out, simply reverse the whole process. We relax our diaphragm, it go upward. The chest wall will go backward and downward. Intrathoracic cavity will become smaller. Intrathoracic pressure will increase. Intrapleural pressure will increase. Transpulmonary pressure will decrease. Alveolar size will decrease. And this is again right before we breathe out. So there is no air flow. What's gonna happen? Same amount of air in the alveolus but the alveolus size decreased and so the alveolar pressure will increase and become higher than the atmospheric pressure so now there is a pressure gradient and the air will flow out from our alveoli to our mouth so simply reversing that process now inspiration as you can see involve contracting muscles while expiration relax muscle relaxation contra muscle contraction needs energy muscle relaxation is a passive process. So you can see inspiration require energy. Expiration in healthy individuals is a passive process. So that's how spontaneous breathing happen. We simply suck the air in during our spontaneous breathing and let it out 